Staying with international news, Uganda has gone crazy and their president is on crack. Why, you ask? Well, he has signed a new law that criminalizes being gay and with life imprisonment for those who are caught being gay. What? Also, if you don't report someone else's gayness, you will also be sentenced to jail. I mean, people get life for things like starting genocides, World War II, murder, but now to go to jail, you know, to a, to a place with no windows for being gay. No, Uganda. No, Uganda. Uganda. No. No. Because we know that it is unnatural to behave like an homosexual. That's unbelievable. You would swear that homosexuality is keeping Uganda from prospering and becoming a super nation. Like I can see the ministers in Uganda sitting in parliament going, yeah, after we lock up all the homosexuals, we're having no more problems, no more global warming, no more corruption, no more poverty. We are going to prosper as a nation. These guys are ridiculous. Look, look, look what else they did. Not even the Daily Sun could come up with this. 200 top gays. What the hell's going on? Was there secret idols in Uganda while no one was looking? But instead of a record deal, you get jail time. Oh, Uganda. Hi, man, Uganda. Does this not remind you of a time in Rwanda where people were calling people cockroaches on radio just before the genocide happened? Who's going to save us from this madness? I know, man, guys. As President Obama has said, this law is more than an affront and a danger to the gay community in Uganda. It reflects poorly on the country's commitment to protecting the human rights of its people. Ah, thank you, Captain America. All you need now is a cape and red underpants. Some countries out there are even thinking of closing down Uganda's overdraft facilities. This will also have consequences when considering sending aid to Uganda. Sorry, Uganda. Your card has been declined. Homophobia is heavy on the pocket, Baba. Yeah? And what did the country with the world's best constitution and Africa's biggest economy have to say about all of this? We don't comment uh, on other countries' legislation. We comment on our legislation. Is that all? Not even, you are a bunch of losers from Figilemba. Not even a condemnation from the president. That's all you've got. Ah, oh, wanna lady, no, no. And you guys are fresh from the fighting apartheid boat. I, I, I can't believe this. Now, lady is like that kind of person you give a lift to the club, and when she gets to the club, she goes into the club, leaves you outside at the door, and acts like she's never heard of you. And the bouncers are looking at you, but my friend, you're, you're not even wearing the right shoes. Please stand to the left, please. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little scared of what the future holds for our continent, especially our country. But anyway, our politicians are promising us everything in these elections, right? But do we ever wonder what South Africa will look like in the next 30 years? News that moves. ENCA.com.